Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee video. If you guys are enjoying the content over here on the channel, or if you're new, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video because this video is going to be showcasing and showing you guys how to level up fast in this game. And I want you to know, unfortunately, this is only an after game thing, uh, but I feel like in the after game is probably the most necessary because the entire game is easy up until the after game you have to basically battle the uh co the master trainers and there's like you have to get your mods up to level 100 and over certain land levels or whatever and it's so annoying but i was able to find a method that i can use that i'm going to show you guys how to use right now but what you want to do is you want to go to cerulean cave now, cerulean cave is the only place well it's not the only place because it's, just, it's probably the only place that has like the, like the amount of experience and the amount of levels that you need But essentially you guys know Chansey, right? Chansey is unfortunately the only way you can pretty much get um, Levels in this game and like I said, it's unfortunate. It's not really like in our control What you want to do you want to catch a lot of chances now I already have a chain of 13 or 14 going on right now So as soon as we go up in there, we're more than likely gonna find one but what you want to do right now is you want to buy a lot of ultra balls i have 61 right now it used to be a lot more before i did any of this so i'm going to buy some more right now but like maybe like 40 more there you go and we're going to want to go ahead and go into cerulean cave and go to the treasure room the second floor where everything is at if you guys don't know that area in there is where you can get like uh, rare items like golden berries uh ultra balls master balls uh, the opposite fossil that I think you got, or you can like just farm fossils if you want to, um, and just a lot of stuff you can just sell off, like like just, just everything else in the game that actually helps out a lot more. Now, if you guys don't know, golden uh, berries are what people use to um, catch the legendary mons in Pokemon Go, but in this one, it's just really good to basically catch anything. What you want to want to do right now is you want to go to Cerulean Cave, and you want to go ahead and go to the second floor, like I said, and you want to pop. Of Maxler. Now, Maxler, if you guys don't know, lures in this game are essentially repels. Just to do the exact opposite instead of repelling mods against, they lure the mods to you, obviously. What you want to do, like I said, if you want, you can you, know, you can go ahead and go around and talk to these like little like uh, diamond things on the floor, a little sparkle dust. You got golden berries if you want. You can do that, and like if you come back and forth, they respawn. But that's not what we're here for. We're not. We're not here for that. So what I want to show you guys is this crazy thing. I'm gonna stop right here, right? I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm going to pop my, going to pop my Max Lore, and I'm going to activate my second Joy-Con. I'm gonna grab Baby Girl in. Here we go. And now we just gotta wait. Something's wrong with my Joy-Con, so of course let her do her own thing. Let her let her do her own thing, and we just have to wait for a Chansey. Now a Chansey is going to pop up, and I want you to know. In this cave, this mod gives so much experience, it is insane how much it gives you. I've gotten like maybe 5 to 20, 30,000 experience before off of Chansey, and obviously it all comes down to, you know, weights being factored in, um, certain things are being factored in when it comes to catching this mod, uh, that it's like, it's crazy. But honestly, the reason why you want the level, like when the second player out, is because the second player is going to move out the way. Move out the way, Snorlax, move. The second player is essentially going to be your, your uh, hold on, let me grab this right here. Ugh. I wanna show, can I, can, I, can I show my friends how to do this? Hello? I can't, can I go away, hello? Here we go, hold on, here you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. The thing about the second player is, it's damn near almost guaranteed that you can catch any Pokemon that you want. And since I have a chain of, I think, 13, catching these are a lot more easier than not. And I literally just caught a chance with my second player. It's a small chance, unfortunately, so we might not get that much experience. But we're able to get 8,000 experience. And I want to show you guys what I, how much I get for this. Look at this. Look at this. Literally, I'm just getting levels. I'm just getting levels now. And I want you to know, you have to keep doing that over and over again until you're at the preferred level that you want to be. Obviously, I'm going to stop uh, at a certain point. I'm going to do it for like maybe, I'm going to do like maybe like three or four times just so you can get a gist of what you have to do. But like I said, the second player always comes in handy. I actually, I think I pressed it too fast, but certain factors go into play with this when you try to catch the mons. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. I, I, when you were supposed to do that, you weren't supposed to do that at all. I'm not going to catch it now. Look at this. I'm not going to catch it. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to catch it. Like I said, what you want to do is you want to chain these. Obviously, uh, how this game works, you have to work on your uh, throws. You want to get as many excellent caps as you can, as many great caps as you can. You want to make sure that the Mon doesn't run away while you're chaining these things. So like I said, you get a lot more experience when you chain these things with your combo chain. And look at that. I just got a uh, synchronized uh, bonus. I got a combo bonus. I got an excellent throw bonus. I got a successful catch bonus. And honestly, it's these multipliers that are the reason why this is the pretty much the, the fastest way. Now, obviously, you're not guaranteed over uh, 10,000. You're not guaranteed over 5,000. You're guaranteed like maybe like four at most, 4,000 at least. And then everything else above it is gonna what you're gonna get. And obviously, nothing is better than something. I'm literally almost there to making my Argus uh, level 100. Literally 10 more levels. But he has a bonus going on with him because he's a he's a traded mon. But as you can see, like this is pretty much the only way that we can probably be able to get uh, in this game faster levels in such a small amount of time. And unfortunately, it sucks too because like you're kind of like you have to wait until the after game. But I also feel like. This game is pretty easy. Hold on, let me grab this right now. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Just don't, just don't do anything. Just can you, can you come to me? Got it. Oh no. Hold on. Three, two. Ugh. There we go. Another excellent capture, and there we have it. Now, depending on how big this mod is, you might get more. I want to show you guys like the biggest amount of experience you could possibly get in this. Hold on, hold on. Because right now you've already seen like five thousand. You've seen seven thousand. I'm trying to see if I can get like uh, one that shows like the biggest one. I want to see one, two, three. Capture. Hold on. What can we get? Can we get? Can we get like? A, can we get the good one? Can we get the good one, please? Eleven thousand. Okay, that's cool. That's that's the highest one we've gotten out of the three times we tried to do this. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure you get when a big one comes out. I want to find the big one. The big one is insane. When we get the big one, we're gonna get like a lot of experience from that. But look how much we. 11,000 literally just got, almost got me two levels on my Brute Root uh, and another level, like a level and a half on my Argus. So he's about to do level 92 as soon as we catch another uh, Chansey. But you get the gist of everything. You literally just have to stay here for a while. Unfortunately, I understand like it could be tedious. I understand that like, you know, unfortunately you kind of don't want to uh, be here for an extended amount of time. But unfortunately, if you guys want to 100% this game and kind of uh, beat the Master Trainer so you can be able to get red or whatever, or battle red or just have that title, it kind of is necessary that you catch uh, as many chances as possible. It's unfortunate that it's as tedious as it is, but I'd much rather this... Uh, hold on. Ugh. It's just so hard to throw that way. I don't know why. I was, I was a catcher. Okay, there you go. It's just so hard to throw this, to throw that ball that way. But the thing about this chain is, if you can't catch a Mon at least about two or three times, run away. Because not every capture is guaranteed, unfortunately. But I mean, something is better than nothing. And I'd much rather uh, get my levels. And the thing about if you try to like catch a Pokemon over and over again, they're more than likely gonna run away from you. And you don't wanna run, you don't wanna have anything run away because that breaks your chain. Uh, as you saw right there, I just almost ran away from the last chance that we encountered so I can get this other one And I'm still on my chain and like I said the more you obviously you're more than likely to find the mon if you like chain combo it If anything, here's another heavy chancy right here Here's another heavy chancy. We're chilling come here my guy go ahead and boom these to you Hold on here. He goes Wow It's an excellent throw and this is probably gonna catch it 100% three two one and there you have it there you have it that's literally all you have to do is pretty much just put the uh put the what i did was i put the joy cons into the uh what, what's this what's this thing called Sixteen thousand. look at that oh my god look at this that's the most that we got this entire uh video the first one was like 4K. The first one was like the second one was like six. Another one was like seven. Then we got eleven thousand, and now we have sixteen, almost seventeen hundred, or seventeen thousand experience. So look at all the factors that get multiplied into this experience, and obviously you get the candies that come with it because of your chain, and you can like send off the, you can send off the. I guess if you want to, you can send off the chances. I guess just to go grab some more candy because they do they do give you candy from professor oak 
So it's just one of those things where you just have to keep going and keep doing it, honestly. Um, it's going to take a long time, like I said in the beginning. Uh, but the more you encounter these chances and the more you catch them, the better off you are getting as much experience as possible. And honestly, the max lures help because all you really have to do is just stand still. Like, really just stand there. Really just stand there, dude. Really just stand there. That's really all I gotta do. Like, literally just pop the max lure, stand in the middle of the room, move out the way if you have to, and then, I guess, just just do whatever you want. Like, just literally just sit there. You don't have to move in like that. Just keep throwing these balls, and that's pretty much it. I, I was gonna say something, but I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I did was to help, like, to make this a lot more easier, I grabbed um, the... I forgot what the heck this thing is called. Hold on, hold on. Ugh. Oh, come on. Look at you. Ugh. I know I'm making this longer than it should be, but I want you to know. I want you to know I need to get my mods up anyway. So I apologize. I'm taking advantage of, like, me recording because I promise you I wouldn't do this if I wasn't recording. So it's one of those things where it's like, I understand that it's tedious and it's very time consuming uh, for the sake of just whatever it is. But it has to get done. You have to get this stuff done so you can have really good mods and really powerful ones at that. Because if you don't, then I mean, hey, you kinda, you're kind of you cheeked out. I'm not trying to get cheeked out in here. And I really want to have really strong mons. Everybody's almost level 80. When uh, Besides Snorlax, obviously. But once we get him, everybody else at level 80, I guess that's going to matter. Argus is the main suspect here. Like, he's almost, almost level 100. But I think with that being said, that's going to be it for this entire video. I'm sorry if there was like a little, like, little cut. Unfortunately, I can't, you know, things happen that you can't really uh, determine, unfortunately. But... Hopefully the point got across. Like I said, pretty much all I gotta do is buy a whole lot of ultra balls, buy a whole lot of max lures, and just come to Cerulean and then go to the second floor, pop the max lures, stand in like a little corner somewhere in the begin in the middle of the room if you want to, and just wait for a chance to pop up. You hear it in the distance, pop in the two player and just have fun with it. Have a friend. I have myself, unfortunately, but here we are. A lot of factors go into this multiplier, so it's really, really cool. Uh, you can get like at least 4,000, but I was fortunate enough to get the ones that you saw in this. So hopefully this was helpful. If it wasn't, I apologize. But if it was, definitely leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Let's Go video. Bye, guys. Love you. Light the leaf, we glow in tree, and you can call it therapy. Take a sip or two or three. I close my eyes, I feel at peace Break down the weed, pass the Dutch You put it on it, the fuck is up?